Hi hey guys, my name is John Kelly and I'm with WCI and today we'll be going over dynamic forecasting in Power BI using our scripts. So the first thing you want to do is open Power BI and have all your data in it. Um, and you also need to have R installed. I have R Studio down here. So this works on the R server. Um, and the packages that we're going to be using today is going to be uh, the forecasting package as well as ggplot2. So the first thing that I want to do is uh, tell you about our data set that we have. This is going to be uh, some web traffic activity and we're going to try and forecast the uh, counts for the next seven days on each of our landing pages. And our landing pages are just going to be the different pages of our website. So the first thing I want to do is create a histogram chart. And go ahead and drag the land page into our axis as well as our value so that it grabs the counts. And then I'm going to go ahead and sort this by count. There we go, we need this a little longer. Okay, and so we want to forecast the number of counts in the next seven days dynamically. So whenever we click on one of these bars, right here is where we're going to want to see the different forecasts. So we're going to need to click on the R scripts, and it will implant this into our dashboard. I will click the up arrow in the R script editor, which tells us that we need to first drag our variables that are going to be used, which is going to be IP address and visit date. And as you see, it will create a, oops, let's do for visit date, we want it to just be visit date. We don't want the date hierarchy. And as you see, it will, cre will create a data frame for us and assign it to the data set. Data set. Okay, and so now we begin typing our R code. So first we want to aggregate our uh, data set by the IP address so that we can get the counts. I already have the code over here. I'm just going to copy and paste it. There we go. And so this will aggregate the counts for us. And to make things easier, I'm going to go ahead and change the names in our data set to visit date and count. Because R likes to change uh, the names for us whenever it runs the aggregate function. Then I have this uh, substring which uh, gives labels to our date. And so now we need to tell R that this is a time series data, which we can do with the TS function. And frequency 7, because uh, our data, it depends on the day of the week. And so now we're going to need to create our ARIMA function. And the forecast package has a nice function called auto ARIMA that will do this for us. And so each time that we click on the different landing page, it will update this auto arima, and the, the function will be different each time. And it will reflect whatever subset we dynamically create by clicking on these, this histogram. So next we want to pull out the periodic trend and any irregular components for the time series. And we can do this with the decomposition. But for now, I'm going to comment this out because I don't want to particularly use it. But if we wanted to, we could do that. And let's go ahead and use our forecast function to find the predictions for the next seven days. And so what this does is it takes our ARIMA model and it predicts for the next seven uh, periods or day, sorry. And so this right here is just going to be some coding for our plot. 
because whenever we end up plotting, it doesn't like to give labels. It will just give a one through uh, however many periods are in our our model. And so this will give us the actual dates. And then last, we can put in our plot. We can do that with this function right here. So this, uh, this axis equals false tells us to not use the axis that it usually has for our, our forecast function. And so we're going to predict the distinct visitors forecast for the next seven days. And this axis 2 and 1 will tell us that we want that uh, regular axis that it has for our y-axis, but for axis 1, we're going to change it to these labels that we defined right here. And so this should give us our model. I'm going to click down here. Oops. Click run right here. Let's see. Oh, I forgot to add in the uh, the forecast library. So let's go ahead and do that. There. It should work. And so now you can see that this is uh, it has the counts throughout time. And this over here on the right will give us what the predicted values are. So it looks like this is between zero, it, or it predicts zero for tomorrow. And then for Sunday, it'll go up and then up, and then it'll start going down, which is reflective of the period throughout time that we already have. And now we can dynamically click on the different landing pages and our model should update and give us the predicted forecast for the next week. So as you can see here, this is how our Webby uh, unfolding tutorial should go. Then we can click here, see all the different ones, and then it'll update for us. Sometimes it'll just average over if there isn't enough plots to use some the prediction. And as you can see here with our click view, we can expect the counts to be a lot lower than our home page. And that shows us how to use forecasting with Power BI through R. Thanks.